you for coming. My name is Douglas Tote. I am here because Vibes invited me to give a brief introduction about their own performance. <coughs> Vibes is a collective as well as the piece. This collective produces over a long period of time. This piece consists of performances that take place only once. Through different kinds of situations and gatherings, as well as other material. For example, written works and videos. An important aspect here is the group of people that make vibes. In theory, there are seven people who are doing this. Masi, Anni, Ville, Laura, Ville, Anna Marie, and Hayden. In practice, there are four people on stage tonight. The audience, as well as the remaining performers, are left to wonder where the rest of the group has disappeared. And why? <laughs> as I see it, Vibes is an exploration of the group's own well as more general notions about collectivity, about living and working intimately with and for people who are different than one another. If the whole point of Vibes is to explore what is a collective, what does the situation here tonight show and reveal? Is it a situation, or is it a situation of failure, or just reality? The artists also told me that they wanted to investigate the idea of Vibes as a gradually developing creature that has a life of its own. They have dreamt of unleashing this Vibes creature so that they could observe its uncontrollable nature. But they have had difficulties in letting this happen, to let go of control over the peace. Or perhaps it's more about having difficulty in finding meaning in art that doesn't have a clear concept that is too instinctive, too spontaneous. If this is what they wanted to believe in, a piece with a fluid idea, or several ideas at once, it can easily become very empty. Can they, <coughs> can you, can we all together live with it? As some of us might remember, the first Public Vibes event took place exactly one year ago at the same festival. They surprised the audience by not having a performance to show. A year has passed. <laughs> I wish you an enjoyable evening. Thank you. But you have friends. <clears throat> yeah. 
You have a lot of friends. What do you offer your friends to make them so supported? What do you offer your friends to make them so supportive? What do you offer?
we feel stupid. We feel empty. We are impotent. We can't write. We cannot be playful. We don't even want to try. We wish to go to sleep. We can't make any decisions. We discuss endlessly and it makes us depressed. We don't know what we are doing. We feel we should. We had too high hopes on what our work could be about. We are dissatisfied with everything. We are guilty. We are being punished. We hate our work. <laughs> we are a complete failure as a group. We are falling apart. Our brothers and sisters are leaving us. We are sad. We feel that our future is hopeless and that things cannot improve. We want to go home. We haven't learned anything from previous experiences. We can't think. We can't love. We can't even be friends with each other. We don't care about ourselves. We can't see any reason in what we do. We are irresponsible. We are bad artists. <laughs> we have white girl and white boy problems. We are angry. We don't have the guts. We can't trust each other. We cannot perform. At 10 a.m., when a rehearsal begins, most of us come late. We are wondering why we are here, what we are doing. The smell of bitter black coffee rains. We are wondering why we still don't wish to give up. Let all of this die. First, there was seven of us. Now we are four. We are jealous of those of us who are not here, who are elsewhere doing something better. <laughs> something more meaningful, something with a clear concept or aim, a movie or something or nothing at all. They do not have to make this performance. They do not have to come up with any ideas that will be killed anyway. They do not have to sacrifice their energy for this piece. Bitches. 
How could they do this to us? They abandoned us. We lack your laugh, <laughs> your presence, your jokes, your support. There is a strong need to go outside. Is there something better we could be doing, like being outside? We decide to have lunch and call it a day. I don't know yet. <laughs> I might show up, or then not. Probably not. <laughs> okay. It sounds like a great opportunity, though, to perform there. I sent an email about the rehearsal period. Are you okay with the timetable? <laughs> I don't know yet. <laughs> I just don't want to make any plans. <laughs> right now. We are fucking sad. This doesn't work. You need to choose if you are part of this or not. It feels degrading to send emails when nobody replies. It hurts us. You choose whether it hurts you or not. <laughs> we chose to do this performance together and nothing will come out of it unless we all make an effort and wake up from this depression. For sure, all of us could be somewhere else. Where would you like to be, then? We are here now. And we would like to find the meaning of this endless process. You're not helping us at all. Maybe my absence is exactly what you need. <laughs> Fuck you. I'm sorry. It's not about you. It's about me. I just don't want to work right now. Do you? Do you? Do you treat all the people you work with like shit, or is it just us? No, no, no. I'm sorry. It's not about you. I just need to protect myself from this bad energy. I don't think so. No? No. We are depressed, and you are part of it too. We will face the same question again and again. Escaping this situation won't make it disappear. Can we just fucking do this performance we once dreamt of doing? That we have promised to do. Okay. Whatever. Let's do it.
we perform and you watch us from the comfort of your seats, from the sweet darkness. We are burning to know how you feel. We make a guess. You feel unsatisfied. You get a feeling that we are in an, in an incestuous vacuum where anything really creative and vibrant will soon die. You don't get it, not the way you would want to get it. Your focus is not led to what is happening, but to how the situation is set up. You don't want to witness nothingness. People doing nothing. That's cheating, you think. You step into the useless meta level where we accidentally invited you. <laughs> you feel you have no choice. And you're right. You're just sad and disappointed knowing that the concept of this performance can be seen everywhere today, inside us and around us. This hanging out without really taking deep responsibility of anything, with arrogance and unwillingness to truly interact with the people we are with. Well, guess what? It is a fear of being transparent, personal, vulnerable and open. And you, you are afraid of it too. Together we form an incapable crowd. So, what can you do? Breathe in deeply and pass a moment in meditation. You are radiating attention towards what is going on around you, as well as inside of you. You experience the atmosphere here as egocentric. You see this situation as a game echoing the unused potential and vitality, which often occurs in our everyday lives. Don't you? You would never believe that all we ever wanted was to be generous to you, to love you, to share our innermost emptiness with you. Does it mean anything to you? So, can you cope with failure? You ignore our love. You reject it. You are watching us, judging us, smelling the crippling failure oozing from our skin, our desperation scratching, and all-consuming panic washing us as we gape in horror at the world and wonder why everyone is smiling and looking at us with the secret knowledge of our aching shame. Shame, shame, shame. Drowning in fucking shame. The mysterious audience, sensible audience, way out audience. Audience who lies and says they are grateful to watch us. Who lies and says they are grateful to watch us. Your truth, your lies, not ours. While we were believing that you are different, we are still keeping the safe distance, like every other stupid mortal cunt. To our mind, your presence here is betrayal. Nothing can extinguish our anger, and nothing can restore our faith. But still, 
Still we are here with you. Still here. Can you help us for fuck's sake? Can you love us? We dread the loss of her we have never touched. We miss the peace that was never born. We kiss the peace across the years that says we shall never meet. We dish the peace we thought could save us from this emptiness. We piss on ourselves and on the audience who never loved us. We dismiss every one of us since we have been dead for a long time. We finish this. We finish this soon. No meaning. No meaning. No meaning. No meaning. No meaning. A song to our love child, kissing her absence. the weakness of her heart, the misbelief in her smile. Is this play fiction or reality? You're setting yourself in such a vulnerable position. I'm worried about your mental health. You don't have the protection of training. You are performing yourself and it's pointless and dangerous. Are you performing yourself? If you think you can use professional art as therapy, you are wrong. It's a very immature, attention-seeking thing to do. Did it make you feel better? No. Did it make you feel better? No. 
Did it give you pleasure? Did it give you knowledge? Did it give you relief? Relief? What are you talking about? I can't understand why you did that. Then ask. <laughs> did it make you feel better? I thought you might do this. Lots of people do. It makes them feel that they are in touch with the material reality. It makes them think that they are giving something new to the audience. Have you ever done it? A theater academy, years ago. <laughs> Not really. No. You are far too fucking ahead of your time. You are beyond cool. I don't know where you read that, but it does not make you feel more alive. Why don't you ask me why I did that? Why did I pour some shit on myself? Would you like to tell me? Yes. Then tell me. Ask me why. Why? Did you pour some shit on yourself? Because it feels fucking great. Because it feels fucking amazing. Just kidding. I don't know why I did that. <coughs> Abstraction to the 
Two bottles of Campo Viejo Reserva Cava Brut. 10 euros 39 cents per bottle. Dry, fresh, refreshingly acidic, very clean aftertaste. Produced and bottled in Spain. They become momentarily collaborative and happy. They come up with a concept for their next performance. Sushi. They feel bad for the fish at the verge of extinction, but eat it anyway.
they throw away the concept they created yesterday. Beluga lentil soup. They feel like going to sleep. Paleo vegan energy balls, coconut flakes, coconut oil, dates, and pumpkin seed. No particular reaction. Mud cake, melted butter for greasing, 200 grams of butter, 100 grams of good quality dark chocolate. Drowsiness. Coffee with non organic milk. <laughs> Unsatisfied with the lack of uplifting feeling. LSD, MDMA. In the end, they didn't dare to. We need to make the time we spend together more productive. Otherwise, there is no reason for us to be here. Otherwise, we can go home. I have better things to do than endless problematizing with you. Do you mean that our community does not have a value outside production? Yes. We don't need more friends. We need more professional relationships. I cannot continue working like this. This needs to be more professional. More about something. We have responsibilities towards other people's expectations. This is supposed to be a working group. Not a fucking therapy circle. But you cannot separate life and work, can you? We want to be in this situation holistically. We refuse to be just professionals. Working group. This is art. I agree. People start to speak about being professional only when there is a lack of professionality. 
we need to have a certain amount of professionalism to go beyond it. I agree. But what we are is a bunch of lazy hippies trying to look good without even trying. We look ugly. Are you waiting for God to change that? Or what? When I walk out of here at the end of the day, I go home to my lover and relax. I'm with my friends and relax. I don't want to think how another day was spent doing vibes, doing nothing. I fucking hate this job and I need my friends to be sane. Now you have seen the worst of me. Yes. <laughs> but you haven't shown anything of you to me. You have only been nodding. I feel your pain. But I cannot hold your approach in my hands. You need to find a way to make this meaningful to you. You'll be all right. We'll be okay. We are strong. Maybe we should just kill this collective. I've killed so many collectives already. <laughs> Lost so many friends. Why don't we just carry our nothingness? with dignity <laughs> and share it with the audience. I miss my dead grandparents. I miss my parents. I miss my child. I miss my... I miss my lover. But still I'm here with you. And I'm sad and I cry because I understand, not because I don't. Please, let's finish this so that no more time and energy is wasted. Let's finish this. Let's finish this. Let's finish this. Let's finish.
We have potential. We are satisfied with this situation. We practice not knowing. We are not falling apart. We feel that our future is bright and that things can improve. We are original as art. We are not angry. We can trust each other. We can perform. Our sadness is a part of us. Our sadness is a part of us. Our sadness is a part of us. Our